Hi friends, thanks for clicking. It's English Insight and I am Anosukla with you. Friends, you know, we write in Roman numerals I for 1, double I for 2, triple I for 3, IV for 4, V for 5, VI for 6, V double I for 7, V triple I for 8, IX for 9, X for 10. We know all these. But can you write your date of birth? Can you write 46? In Roman numerals? Can you write 56 in Roman numerals? Can you write 69 in Roman numerals? Can you write 95, 129, 445, 562, 676, 995, 1000? Can you write? But I am writing my date of birth in Roman numerals. My date of birth is double X July. M C M double X B. This is my date of birth. But can you guess what does it mean? What is my date of birth? Can you see? Can you write in English my date of birth? Your date of birth? If you can't, just see how we can easily remember all this up to 1000, all these Roman numerals. Let's start. As we know, 10 is X. 10 is written as x in Roman numerals, 20 is written as double x, 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 30 is written as triple x, x, x and x, it is 30 and 50 is l, 50 is written as l in Roman numerals, but what about 40? So 40 is written as xl, 40 is written as xl, so why is it written? So l is 50, x is 10. So when X is written before before L, it is shows that 40 is X less than L. 40 is X less than L. So what does it mean? L is 50. L L is 50. X is X is 10. So 50 minus 10 equals to 40. 50 minus 10 equals to 40. So, X is used before L. It is shows that 40 is X less than L. It means 40 is 10 less than 50. So, it is 40. So, L is 50. What about 60 now? So, 60 is LX. LX. So, L is 50. X is 10. X is used after L. So, L is 50. So, 50 plus 10 equals to 60. When we use X after L, it is shows that L plus X. 50 plus 10. X is 10. L is 50, so L plus X, 50 plus 10 equals to 60. So, we will come to 70. 70 is L, X, X. L, X is 60 and X is 10. Again, it is added to that, so 60, 70. So, 80 is L, triple X, L, triple X, this is 80. So, what about 100? 100 is C, 100 is called as C. It is a Roman numeral, so 100 is written as C in Roman numerals. So, what about 90? 90 is written as X C, X C. So, why? C is 100. X is written before that. So, X, the value of X is 10. The value of X is 10. C is 100. So, 100 minus 10 equals to 100 minus 10 equals to 90. So, when X is written before C, it is shows that 90 is X less than C. 90 is X less than C. It means, so 90 is 10 less than 100. So, 100 minus 10 equals to 90. So, this is 10 is X. If you write 11, what does it mean? X I. If you write 12, it is X double I. If you write 13, this is X triple I, then X I V, this is 14, X V 15, X V I 16, X V double I 17, X V triple I, this is 18, X I X, the same thing, X I X, this is X I X, X is 10, I X, this is 9, so why? X is 10, I is written before it, so, 10 minus 1, I is for 1, I is written for 1. 
सो एक्स माइनस वन दिस इज नाइन सो एक्स आई एक्स इज नाइनटीन एंड वी हैव रिटेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी नाइनटी वन हंड्रेड नाउ विल सी सो हाउ वन हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड अफ टू वन थाउजेंड वी कैन इजिली रिमेम्बर ओके Now it is 100 as we have learnt. So 100 is written as C in Roman numerals. So what about 200? 200 is C C double C. Okay. So 300 is triple C C C C. This is 300. So what about 500? 500 is written as D. 500 is written as D. But We'll see. So, what four hundred in Roman numerals? If five hundred is D, so definitely four hundred must be C D C D. As we have seen earlier, as we have seen earlier, if C is used before D, it is shows that four hundred is C less than D. Four hundred is C less than D. So C is one hundred. C is one hundred, and D is. 500 d is 500 so 500 minus 100 equals to 400 so if we use c before d it is shows that so 400 is a c less than it means 100 less than 500 so 500 minus 100 equals to 400 so 400 is d okay so this is a 500 so definitely you must have guessed so what 600 is a So six hundred is D C D C. C is used after C is written after D. So D is five hundred. D is five hundred. So C is again used after that. So plus one hundred. C is one hundred. So the total is six hundred. Six hundred is written as D C. D is five hundred. C is again used after that. So D plus C five hundred plus one hundred is six hundred. So seven hundred will say D C C D C C. This is seven hundred D C. This is six hundred. Again, one hundred is added to that. So total seven hundred D C C. So eight hundred D C C C D triple C. This is eight hundred. So what about one thousand? One thousand is M. So in Roman numerals, one thousand is written as M. So definitely, you must have guessed what about nine hundred. So nine hundred is a nine hundred is C M C M. So why? Because M is one thousand. M is one thousand as it's written here. C is used before M. C is written before M. It means so nine hundred is C less than M. That means nine hundred is one hundred less than one hundred less than one thousand. Therefore, one thousand minus one hundred equals to nine hundred. So C is used before M. So this is nine hundred. So one thousand is M. But I have told you earlier, it was my date of birth. It was my date of birth. I am telling. So what my date of birth was? As I have written. At the beginning of the lesson, I have already told you I was born on a day. I was born on a day. It was double X July double X July M C M double X B. But what does it mean? Double X means X plus X. X is ten again. X is ten. So this is twenty. Double X is twenty. I was born on twenty July. Then so what? M stands for M is one thousand. M is one thousand. C M is C M is nine hundred nine hundred because C is one hundred and M is one thousand. So one hundred less than one thousand. This is C M is nine hundred. We have already discussed. So double X is double X is twenty. Double X is twenty. B is five. B is five. So M C M double X B. This is one thousand nine hundred twenty five. I was born on twenty July one thousand nine hundred twenty five. Just you think, what must be your date of birth? Try to write your dates of birth. Okay. So 
Now I will say, so 46, so what is 46? 46 is uh, L, X before that, so L is 50, X is uh, L minus 10, so XL is 40 and 6 is uh, V, I, this is uh, 46, 46 is uh, XL, V, I, we will see 465, 465. So, what is 400? So, D is 500. As we have seen, as we have already discussed, D is 500. D is 500. But, what is 400? So, 400 is just 100 less than D, 100 less than 500. So, C is 100 and 500 is D. So, C, D. C, D. This is 400. So, 65. So, what is 60 here? 60 means, L, X, L is 50 and X is 10 and X is added to 50. So, 10 is added to 50. So, this is L, X, C, D, L, X, 460, then 5. So, what is 5? V is 5. So, 465, C, D, 400, L, X, 60, 60 and V is 5. So, the total is 465. Try to write some other numbers in Roman numerals. I hope you must have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching. And one request, never hesitate to subscribe this channel and share this video. Bye.